Welcome everyone to a quick tutorial in Sony Vegas. For this one, we are going to be adding in some text to our video. As you can see from my screen, I have a short little GTA 5 cinematic clip, which I chopped into little pieces. This is where the scenes are, and we are going to be adding in some text to make this look more interesting. And we are going to turn this into a intro for Franklin in GTA 5. The very first thing you want to do is you want to go into your timeline. You can use a scroll wheel to go up and this will just zoom into the timeline. But you want to go in this empty area right here, right click and go to video track. Once you've created a track above that, you go to media generators and in here by default, yours is probably on this one. You want to go to the very bottom one, which says legacy text. So this is where you have an option between text the default one and you have some other ones with different effects these are also templates one that i like to use is a soft shadow because this makes the text stand out a lot more so we are going to go to where we want the text so for me i'm going to have text at the start and some more text over here you want to drag it into this track right here once you've done that you now enter your text so i'm going to type in my youtube channel Vertic Designs. This is the part where you can customize it. So you want to highlight it, make it a little bit smaller. If yours is too big, I'm going to also change the font to a different one. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is this one. Now we're going to go to the properties to change the color. I'm going to go with a light blue. Let me see if I can find the exact one I had before. I think mine was like around there. And then if we go to effects, this is where we can actually control the shadow. So if we turn this down, it makes it a lot smaller. We can change this to 20, same as this one. And then increase the feathering a little bit more. So it looks a little bit better. We can also change the color so it matches the blue, but we're going to go with a darker blue and this just makes it a little bit better. If you do not want shadow, effect on your text then untick it you can use an outline if you wanted to for example but i'm not going to use it so i'm just going to leave it like that and now you pretty much close this down if you wanted to you can save this give it a name and then you click on this icon right here you can save this one thing i like to do with my text is i sometimes like to turn down the opacity of it so you can see through it and it just makes it look a little bit better because let's put it to 93 as you can see you can very slightly just see through it and we also want to give this text a fade in and fade out so it doesn't just appear and disappear to do so you go to the corner of this and you drag it out and this is all about how long you actually want it to be if you can right click and change the fade type so this one will be quicker than this one, but this one will just keep going up to 100%. Another thing that we are going to do is we are going to make this a little bit shorter because it is a little bit long. So we are going to make it all the way to the first scene. And then on the second scene, we will have the other text. So put it down. Once again, go to the corner and drag it in. Once you've done that, go back to this icon and then change it to this one. And now if we just preview this, you can see it looks really nice and smooth. The next thing is we are going to add in the present. So it says my name and then presents. To do so, you want to click on this track right here. Once you've got it selected, you press Control and C. This will copy it and then go to another area of the timeline. So for example here and then press Control V and that will paste it. This message will come up to ask you, would you like to make it a copy? The difference between these two is that the one at the bottom will automatically update both of them at the same time. So we cannot do that unless we wanted the text to appear twice, but we are going to click on this one and then press OK. So this is going to create a new one and we can actually edit this one without the other one updating as well. So now we're going to type in presents. We can also change the color if we would like to. Let's go with like, let's go with a white. I think this one should have a longer fade. 
and we are going to change the fade type to this one so it's a straight line for this video i am only going to focus on the basics of text i'm not going to show you too much of how to animate it but for now i'm going to show you this thing that you can do and that is if you go into the video right here click on this icon and then what you want to do is you want to go to the start leave it as it is and then go to a little bit further on then you want to use your scroll wheel to zoom out so you can see and this is where you hold shift and you drag this out what this will do is that it will play from keyframe one to keyframe two and the way it will work is that it will zoom out the video so if we put this to the end and then we preview this you can see that the text is slowly getting smaller we can also do this to the present as well but instead let's just give it a little bit of a twist and make it zoom in instead so to do so we zoom out do the same as last time drag it out but instead we are going to go to keyframe one and then we're going to swap it over and now if you look at it you can see that it is zooming in the other thing i wanted to add to this was the gta 5 logo so when we get to this scene right here where he gets in the car if you don't have an image then that's completely fine but for me i have the logo so i'm gonna drag it into the same timeline and then make it a lot smaller because it's really large so and then you want to drag the corners out we are also going to apply the same effect like last time so we're going to go a little bit further in the timeline and make it smaller this just makes it look a lot nicer because it's actually moving we are just going to quickly preview this and see if we're happy with it If you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on what you think. I will see you all in my next one. Bye.